Okay, we're gonna go over how to change the front brake pads on a 2009 RAV4, but the process is the same for other models of RAV4. So the first thing you wanna do is put on your emergency brake and then jack up the car. And then you're gonna go ahead and take off the front wheels. On this side, you can tell where the brake pad is worn down so right there so we're gonna need to replace the pads on the front for this RAV4 and again make sure you use a jack and you have um, have it safely propped up This is the front left, and right there, again, you can see where it's worn down. So we're going to go ahead and replace the front brakes on this RAV4. Under the hood, this is where your brake fluid goes, but I have a piece of cloth wrapped around it because as you are working on your brakes um, some of the fluid could come up a little bit and over overflow from the container so i just have that cloth there just in case uh, that happens okay once your car is up you're going to want to put the key in uh, turn the ignition just slightly but not turn the car on you're just turning it on just so you could turn the steering wheel and the reason you're doing that is to angle the brake so you have um, better access to it From this angle, you can tell that this has now turned and that gives us access to everything that we need to be able to replace the brake pads easily. You'll notice a couple screws on the back. This is a 14 millimeter nut and we're going to go ahead and remove the bottom one first. So just loosen it and then you should be able to remove it by hand. You can see that it now lifts up so we didn't need to remove the top and you can see your rotor along with your two brake pads. And just looking at the brake pads, you can tell that they are pretty worn. Just for comparison, I'm going to grab the new ones and show you the difference in thickness. So on the top, we have our new brake pads. And on the bottom, we have the ones that we just removed. And you can tell just how much of a difference there is between the two pads. So let's go ahead and put in the new pads. So with your new brake pads, just place it on the bottom and then it should be a, a good fit and just go ahead and push it right back in pressed up against the rotors. You'll notice now as we try to push back down the, um, the caliper, it's not able to go in because this part has already pushed in from our previous pad. So we need to push this back in so that we're able to tuck this down. Okay, I have a vise now to be able to push this back, but you'll note that I'm actually pushing back with the old brake pad attached to um, the vise. And the reason for that is because it provides a completely flat surface that's pushing against with even pressure so that I don't mess anything up. And then that way, once this part is pushed back in, it should be able to fit with the new brake pads. So place your old um, brake pad as kind of a, um, a cushion and then use the vise to push it completely back in. If 
you can see it slowly pushing back in and it's providing even pressure because of the brake pad and that ensures that nothing's going to be damaged. Okay, let's go ahead and push this down. Need to put the uh, lug back in. Let's go ahead and tighten that up. And you can see now from this angle, the brand new pads and just how much thicker they are compared to the ones that we just replaced. So go ahead and repeat the process on the other side put your tires back on and you are good to go and you saved hopefully a few hundred bucks.